Hi everybody, hope you're all well. This is part 8 of 31 Days in August. Today's comic is not really a single comic, it's a mini-series. And it's the four-issue mini-series from Dark Horse and John Byrne called Babe. Okay, that's issue one. <clears throat> issue two. Issue three. And issue four. Now, this was produced in 1994 under the Dark Horse um, banner of Legend. Uh, it was like a, an offshot uh, comics uh, line that Dark Horse had. Um, now, I picked these up in Holland in a town called in a town called Utrecht, and they cost me twenty cents. Uh, twenty cents, which in British pounds at that time probably equated to about fifteen p. So, um, yeah, so definitely worth picking up. Um, the whole series revolves around mainly two characters. One is a guy called Ralph Rowan, who is a talent agent, and he's not a very good one. Um, the other is a mysterious young woman who is super strong and non indestructible called Babe. They meet on, in the first issue, they meet on a stormy dark night when Ralph Rowan is on his way back home from a party where he fails to get another starlet on his books as he's driving home in the pouring rain he comes across babe stood in the middle of the road completely naked with her hair covering her modesty uh, she gets the name babe from the first words that ralph says to her which are hey babe after that except for a few moments that's the only word she says is babe. Um, she's almost, I suppose, in, in a way, you'd probably say she's almost like the female version of Silent Bob from Kevin Smith's uh, View Askew Universe movies, like Jane Silent Bob, you know, that sort of thing. Um, only in the sense that she doesn't say anything apart from babe, and then every now and then something quite monumental <laughs> um, she's kidnapped in the first issue by another talent agent and as Ralph goes to rescue her it's a bit of a pointless rescue because when she sees him from out from from the window of this other talent agents home she bursts through the wall outside to to meet Ralph and then as they're trying to figure out how to get over the wall, she just pushes the wall down and they escape from the car. Um, no sooner as they escape in, ba in babe number one than they are kidnapped in babe number two by a group of aliens. Now, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning. This comic series is supposed to be in the same universe as Hellboy, uh, The Torch of Liberty, and Danger Unlimited. So, I mean, if I remember correctly, in the second, there was there's another mini series from this called Babe Two, which is a two issue mini series, and in that, Abe Sapien from Hellboy appears. Um, in this issue, you have. Uh, a character called the Blonde, Blonde Bombshell, which is from the Torture Liberty. She used to be a former partner of Torture Liberty, from that comic. And they get kidnapped by aliens in this one. Babe, Ralph, and the Blonde Bombshell. And when they get kidnapped by the aliens, they find 
a load of people on the alien spaceship that were also kidnapped from Earth at about the time when uh, from a, from a, an airplane that was struck by lightning and the people who were on the plane got beamed up to the alien spaceship and kidnapped the blonde bombshell babe and ralph along with ralph's secretary manages to free all the people from the alien spaceship and make their way back to earth when they get back to earth they find out that Ralph's secretary's child has been kidnapped by the other talent agent who is still after Babe. He wants her for to be on his books because she's got no memories and she's a complete blank slate. Um, he wants to mould her into being the perfect actress or the perfect turn for his uh, his um, agency books. As they uh, as they go and rescue Ralph's secretary's kid, a group of other dimensional creatures <coughs> turn up and kidnap everybody <laughs> in the group. Babe, Ralph, Ralph's secretary, her kid, the um, blonde bombshell, and the uh, other talent agent they get taken to another dimension where these creatures say that they are <clears throat> excuse me they are interdimensional wizards they deal in science and magic and they made a bit of a mess of something there was a war going on between two groups of these interdimensional beings and as the war went on a source of energy was destroyed and all the energy that was in this source was jettisoned out and went across different dimensions as it hit this dimension it hit a passenger plane which at that moment in time not only was hit by the um, interdimensional energy but was also hit by the beam of the aliens that kidnapped the people off of the airplane and was also struck by lightning at this very millisecond five women on the plane that got hit by the interdimensional beam the lightning and the aliens transportation transporter beam five women touched each other at the same time and those five women were merged into one person babe this is why she's super strong and indestructible she has the she has the strength of five women and she's indestructible because of the magic that was in the the, the, the beam the interdimensional beam the wizards, interdimensional wizards, then turn around and say, there's not a problem, we're going to sort our own problem out, we'll separate Babe. So she separate, So they separate Babe into the five separate women. And everybody gets sent back to Earth. As... All the people try to get back to their normal lives again. We see one of the women who was Babe. And she's shopping. And as she goes back to her car, she notices sort of green water from underneath her car. She looks under there, and from under her car, her car flips up, the ground bursts open. And from under there, from under the ground, come these cybernetic alligators from the sewers 
at this moment of stress and danger, the five women who are now spread off uh, across the world disappear from where they were and that's where it ends. <laughs> This is a really good mini series. I know. I know. So far, in all of these videos, I've said that the the the, the issues and that are really good. But this is a really good mini series. It's quite strange, in the sense of you have a uh, a woman with no memories, who, in actual fact, is five women merged together, but. John Burns' artwork in it and writing, as always with John Burns, is phenomenal. Um, if you've read his Next Men stories, you'll know that it, it, he he knows how to write a good superhero story. Um, his Fantastic Four run for Marvel was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I've, I don't think he he was the one that brought in, changed Wonder Girl, uh, sorry, Invisible Girl to Invisible Woman. Um, his run on Superman after Crisis on Infinite Earth was again another brilliant series. His Superman miniseries, The Man of Steel, which reinvented Superman for the pre-crisis of an infinite earth universe was an absolutely phenomenal five issue miniseries if you haven't got any john burns comics in your collection you seriously need to get some because he is a brilliant writer and an amazing artist and i'm not too sure if these have been um collected in trade paperbacks uh, if I, what I'm going to do from now on, if I remember, is all these comics that I review, if I can find them in trade paperback, I'm going to put a link down below so you can pick up the trades or the single issues if you want to of any comics that I review here. So I'll probably go back to my other videos and see if I can find, you know, um, like Amazon or somewhere like, or Play24 or something like that. So, um, yeah, that is the review of the four issue miniseries. Babe, there you go. There's the covers again, and completely out of order. It's number three, number two, number four, and number one. A phenomenal mini series. Thank you for watching. Hope that was interesting for you. If you haven't given me two numbers yet, if you haven't given me two numbers yet please do so in the comment section below two numbers one from 51 one from 1 to 51 and one from 1 to 300 um, and then Friday I will draw the number from the hat and we'll see how much damage I do to myself when I try and go into my comment boxes behind here and pick out the two random comics that is going to be chosen by one of you people out there for me to review on Saturday and Sunday um, also don't forget about the raffle so when you give a number give me two numbers you also get automatically entered into a raffle unless of course you don't want to uh, in which case private message me or put a comment down there and say you don't want to be entered in the raffle but you still want to be um, giving me numbers and um, yeah thank you for watching um, I hope these aren't getting boring for anybody I know for me, it's really interesting and really exciting to just go into my back issues and just pull out comics and go, I'm going to read that today. You know, it's something I've never done before. And with any luck, if this is any good and this gets enough people viewing and interested, I'll probably do it again next year. You never know. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you tomorrow for another completely random comic from my collection. Ta-ta for now.